cost me about £20 for film and processing and petrol, <laughs> and I'd earn £6.50. But I kind of thought, <laughs> I'm building an archive, so yes. one day it will be worth it. A body of work. You know, yeah. and I thought, you know, maybe I'll get an enemy cover occasionally. You yeah, know. yeah. Very hard. We used to dress up to go to gigs. I mean, people don't dress up to go to gigs anymore. But, but we that's used so to, cool. But we used to really dress up to go yeah. to gigs. Um, um, well, I photographed Bowie when I was 19. Golly, were you nervous? <laughs> like, uh, well, not meeting him. I was nervous when I actually eventually met him, but I photographed Bowie in concert for the Ziggy Tour. If you shot it right. in colour, nobody would publish it. Nobody was right. publishing in colour. Ah, right, right, so right. So the music press published in black and white no in kidding. England. Right. And it wasn't until probably 1982 that they started to... You use a few pages in the enemy for color. Give me a vibe for taking David Bowie's picture. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, you might. Exactly, a little ambient happy. I toured with Morrissey and I've done tour brochures for him. Yes. And I did a Morrissey book that came out last year. And I photographed Morrissey a lot. And he was very demanding, but in a very pleasant way. Yeah. And we just about heard of Madonna. She'd just done a couple of... She yeah. was mainly on black radio stations in New York. Yeah. And she did this, and there was probably about 15 people on the roof. New Order. Sure. Oz, was there? Um, a guy, I think it was Ian Birch from Smash Hits. And no that was about shit. it. And it was New just Order us. was there? Um, and I did a book in England, which covered the whole Manchester scene. And from Buzzcocks right through to everyone growing old gracefully and disgracefully. Yes. The only state in America I've ever been arrested in is Texas. Oh, uh, you and Johnny Rotten. I know. <laughs> Very hard.